this is a game changer guys i mean like absolutely game changing so is i i can't okay i'm excited okay what you see right here on the right hand side guys this is a character creator for model right so instead of as a genesis 8.1 model his name is Kola, and he's available on the does uh, 3d studio uh, marketplace and i imported him into character creator 4 right over here you can see him and i then exported him and brought him into the unreal engine as this model right here right and this my friends is a metahuman i'll say that again this is a metahuman with custom textures from this character right here who set off as a genesis model this changes a lot of things you know because i'll show you something that's really interesting metahumans by nature right when you create them even if you make the heads old or aged guess what the bodies stay young <laughs> so it's almost like so there's like a disconnect right here and that goes for female characters as well for meta humans that are male and female and it doesn't matter how old you make the character the body does not change in terms of the texture and that my friend is where this update comes in real Illusion just released this new update that makes it possible to send the full texture of a cc4 character right from the head right all the way down to the body and you see how ripped <laughs> this guy is right we never like it was almost it's almost impossible to get like a, a meta human that is ripped especially like if you're trying to do like a boxer or someone who's like a martial artist whether it's a female or male character right it's very difficult to get that definition and so now with a character creator 4 with a new wrinkle map system with the ability to add all this detail of like the veins and see this character see looks like coherent like consistent in terms of uh the texture what you when you look at the head you're expecting to that to match right but unfortunately for the meta humans they don't match as you can see here i made the head older as you can see there but the body stays young and so i the way th this whole process works is you select the character that you've made in character creator 4 and this is going to be 4.2 and you go to file export head over here and you choose you drop down and choose mesh to meta human male or female depending on which one you want and it will change to this and make sure that the back tex textures are high the body has to be 4096 and this is also going to be 4096 right so make sure all these are high textures because you're taking it to the meta humans it's going to do a conversion and the plugin that you need to have is called if you go to your uh, i close the real Legion hub over here it's going to be the unreal engine auto setup right here the unreal auto setup and that's going to take you to this page right here which is the home and it's a free download so you can download it for free and use it make sure you have the most recent version okay if you have an older version so make sure you have at least 1.3 1.32 and the way you do that is you see that is go to your unreal engine over here go to settings go to plugins and then type in uh, look for like go to the ones that are installed over here and you can see the number the version number it's character creator and icon auto setup 
make sure it is a 1.32. So I have the 1.32 uh, because I was using a 1.31, which actually 1.31 works, but there's a fix that comes in 1.32 that that gets fixes the, the seam. If you're using 1.31, you're gonna get a seam between the head, right, and the body. So you make sure that you, you have the most recent version 1.32, which is coming out, I believe, this week. Okay, but amazingly, now we can have detailed, like meta humans that look awesome with the veins. Look at the normal maps. These are all coming from Character Creator 4 because the meta humans don't have the ability yet to have that kind of detail. And this is amazing. What's even better, guys? Watch this. To prove that this is a meta human, I'm not using, I didn't use the uh, the live link transfer. No, I used the, the plugin for the meta human to transfer this. So after you export it from Character Creator 4 and you've exported the, the head over here, this process uh, takes a little bit of time because it's baking everything. And as you can see on the screen there running through, it takes a while because it's it's again you baking all these textures even though it's sending just the head but it's also baking the textures for the full body so that when you go to iClone and use the text the uh, plugin it can apply that to the meta human right mm -hmm. and so once you have the head in here and I'll show you like uh, my folder wait before I do that I said I was going to show you prove to you that this is a meta human all right Let's go ahead and pick up my live link. And yeah, <laughs> as you can see, this is a meta human, right? Um, it's using live link and I'm able to say ba 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 black ship. <laughs> Let me cancel this, this is trying to save. So that's how you know this is a meta human because uh, it's not easy to do like imagine so this character is coming from here right to the unreal engine so now you can get your custom textures from character creator 4 into uh the real the unreal engine and apply it to a meta human and have the awesome awesome textures and not just the head be old but the body to follow through you you want to be able to match the head and the body texture and that's where this uh, plugin, the auto plugin comes in, the auto setup. And you can see it up here, the CC setup action right there, right? So uh, let me go, let me put this down for now. <laughs> it's stuck right there. But I, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you, that we now have the ability to have these detailed texture maps of character creator 4, into the Unreal Engine and apply to our meta human. So if you need someone who's really like well built, or even someone who's old, or if you're doing like a, anything like the character, if you need a character that's consistent in terms of the head and body texture, and you set it up here in a character creator, you have the ability to send it there. So when you export that head, it's gonna export as an FBX file, and the way you get it into the Unreal Engine, you simply go to, a, like I'll show you my folder where I have it. Let's go to content and uh, models, my models. Where are my models? So models over here. And let's go to scan. No, not scan, sorry. Let's go to characters. Let's go to color. So you make a subfolder and then import your character into this subfolder and it's going to bring in the heads like that like so and then you're gonna like right click in here go to meta human uh, so make sure you have the meta human plugin which is uh this one right here and i'm using version 1.1.0.2 okay that's available on the unreal engine marketplace and then when you right click in here after you've imported it successfully imported these uh, models right here you right click in here and then you go to meta human and then you create 
a meta human identity and you just call it for example caller two okay then double click on that make sure you log in make sure you're logged in to your quixel bridge and you probably need to do it sooner than <laughs> like before you start so you go to here and go to your quixel bridge and log in make sure you if the way you know you've logged in is when you can see your meta humans okay you're going to need the quixel bridge for to send the model so once you have it in here go to components up at the top and search for the model that we just added the one that you imported so it's going to be color avatar mesh this one right here okay and just frame the model so that it it's uh it's centered and also change this uh, field of view to about 20. okay then rotate the camera so that it's uh flat on like around there like so so when you're ready you can then uh, promote this frame click on the neutral pause and then you can either click here to promote the frame or you can click over the top promote the frame and we double click here and call this front name it front all right and you can also lock the camera over here right click and lock camera but you can uh, sorry before you lock the camera you want to track the active frame so depending on the speed of your computer this might go quickly or not so let's go ahead and track active frame and you can see it working over here loading trackers and you can see the detail of the material that came in the shaders from character creator 4 all right so it's a, it has done the auto tracking which is exactly what you want and then you can switch between that to see right i need to un unlock the camera and let's switch between the two wait a second now have i yeah need this tap turn on auto tracking all right and then so that way sorry I should not move the camera like that but it auto tracks <laughs> that's what I mean you you're able to auto track so the markers are set right when you're ready go ahead and uh, click on uh, meta human identity solve so it's going to create a character out of this and this is all coming from this head that you exported from character creator 4 by going to file export head right all right so once that is done what this is enabled now you are able to convert this to a mesh to meta human select the body type and i'm going to select average body type over here and we can go to mesh to meta human and you can also do like back and forth to see what the model looks like so this is without all the textures that is going to come later right like that all right let's go to mesh to meta human we've selected the body type press mesh to meta human and then let the system do its thing over here again depending on uh, the speed of your internet because again this is a <laughs> it's a cloud-based system the meta human creator and so you have to have an internet connection otherwise it's not going to work so give it a second or rather depending again on the connection so now something i noticed even though it says error while executing the mesh to meta human service right I've noticed that like if I go to my bridge quixel bridge it, it you'll find the model here once it's created so if it fails I just try again just try one more time and it should get like a success <laughs> essentially that's what it does so it's I mean because it's cloud-based you are relying on the you know the stability of the internet and all that and also the availability of the system to, to connect successfully but when it it is successful right you will end up seeing your character in 
uh, the Quixel bridge, it will show up here. And there it does. <laughs> so there's color too, it's shown up. And when you're done, when you're ready, then just click on uh, start MetaHuman Creator. And I think I may have lost the session. Okay, let's uh, start this one. And I hope, I don't know who's ahead of me, but uh, depending again on uh, how many people are in line, uh, this might take a, bit, a little bit of time or it might take uh, just a quick moment. So this step is essentially you're trying to create a metahuman character that then you can bring back into uh, the Unreal Engine. And so here we go. Uh, wait for it. Loading. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> okay, while that is doing that, let's go back here. So as you can see, this is the one that I was successful in creating. I was able to start the MetaHuman creator and was able to generate this MetaHuman. And then he showed up here, downloaded him, just pressing this button that you see like right here, downloaded him. And then I was able to press that button right there. So I made, I made sure to select highest quality. And then I was able to add that character to the Unreal Engine, okay? So when actually, remember when I was saying that even though it looked like it had failed, it's this two of them have been created. So even though it says the back end was having issues, it looks like it was successful in doing that. So hopefully Epic Games can fix that part. All right, let's go back and see what's happening. All right, I was hoping to actually walk you this process here, but uh, it's take, it says it's gonna take a couple minutes. So wait and see. Let's go back to Unreal Engine. And so this model, uh, again, it may look like it doesn't have the textures on it, like what you see here, but eventually once you bring it in, that's where the magic is gonna happen. So for now, actually we are done with this. We can, you can save it if you want, or you can close. And when that model comes in, you're gonna see for a second, like, let me go to my content browser over here. Let's go to, so this is a meta human and when it brings it in, this is the one that I made, call ahead. And that's the character that you see actually over here. But I was hoping that this could actually show up. <laughs> so this is the challenges of, of the meta human creator, you know, because it's again, it's online cloud-based. So you definitely have to rely on the queue. Sometimes there are a lot of people that are waiting in line. And uh, I am hoping that someday that this could be like a, a local, you know, service that you can actually run on your computer. But because it's uh, when it's cloud-based, it's much easier for them to update things or over there, you know, Epic Games, whatever they're working on. Because right now we're waiting for clothing and things like that. And it's still, the system is still grow, uh, being developed and it continues to change and update. Like the MetaHuman animator that I'm looking forward to. That whole interface, I think, I think there will be more things that show up once it's uh, released in uh, the Android Engine 5.2 as well. So this is gonna take a minute, but uh, again, while it's loading, let's go back and talk about it. So anyway, once you bring in that meta human, right? And he can have clothing, but I brought him in just with the underwear so that you could actually see the uh, the textures, right? But when once you bring him in, all you gotta do then is just right click on him and then apply CC textures, right? And when you apply CC textures, it's gonna bring up this new drop down list. And under that list, just uh, in the search field, type in the name of your skeletal mesh, which is this one. Don't do this one, not, not the head one. You want the avatar, the color avatar. That's the one that uh, you need. Click on that, and then it will apply the CC textures to the character. But I was hoping to actually have this MetaHuman show up uh, so I could walk you through. But it seems like it's taking its sweet time. <laughs> so we, I may not be able to show you this whole process. But after it's done, ideally, is that you create, you go through the same process of applying the textures. And I've done a tutorial actually on how this part is done. Then Make sure then you add your meta human using uh, Quixel Bridge by going up here, Quixel Bridge, finding your meta human because after it's created online, it will show up here. Uh, add, download the meta human and then add it 
to your project. And when you're done adding it, then you can go to the folder wherever it's, it is, right click on it and then apply CC textures. And that's all you need to do. And then you have this character looking like the, your model with all the nice textures. Super, super cool. So you can imagine if you wanted to add tattoos, you know, so this is another, I guess, value of uh, having Character Creator 4 is that they've made it possible for you to customize the textures, add, especially if you're doing like sci-fi, you can add so many cool things, you know, to your model and then take the texture over to, uh, to the Unreal Engine and apply it. So cool. <laughs> okay guys uh i think this one is not gonna maybe the people there's too many people there are too many people online right now so i probably won't be able to do that but anyways make sure you download the free download of this auto setup right it's on the Relusion website and you're gonna definitely need character creator 4 right so that you can actually apply these textures and all of this is gonna be in like if you go to the uh this makeup and also the skin there are so many cool things that you can do. like uh, if you go to full screen realistic you can apply all these different types of uh, effects you can go to skin details you can do decals on the face right all these can then be applied to your metahuman like lipstick things like that capillaries capillaries is it capillaries or capillaries okay <laughs> roughness all these amazing things blemishes like freckles acne you know these are things that are gonna be you can add to your character and then be able to use it on the metahuman and for me i was using this color character that is like a sci-fi like a android or cyborg kind of character and you can see the the texture on that character it looks great anyway so that's why i wanted to share with you guys is that uh, we now have the ability to send textured textures from a cc character cc4 character to the unreal engine apply to the uh, meta human using the mesh to meta human bring it back using the auto set up this uh, character creator setup and uh, character creator for setup and it will automatically convert the textures you don't even have to do anything all you gotta do is make sure that when you're exporting from here the textures are high resolution and the way you do that is make sure that you select the character as well go to the editor over here activate the editor uh, this one is gonna go through its process and then make sure that you switch from 2048 to 4096 and apply that because you need the highest quality textures so that they can work well with the meta human because the meta humans have a really really detailed shader map and the textures are high high quality okay so when you're when you once the process is done just go drop down switch to 4096 and then it's going to convert everything all the textures to 4096 right and make sure you update and then you can go ahead and file export the head yes so make sure that you kick out of the the editor that all the textures are baked down and then that's when you can go to the unreal engine and import that into your folder over here create a folder import the character in here and then create a meta human you know identity and all that that process that i just showed you and then send that to uh, the meta human creator using quicksaw bridge and then you can bring the character back after you're done so let me see if it's did it call did it actually do it nah <laughs> guys who's in line someone is holding up the line up here <laughs> all right guys again thank you so much for joining me today what an amazing day and uh, this changes everything when it comes to texture. We, you can go crazy with the textures and have fun. Man, now we can have like really, really ripped metahumans. Look at that detail. 
again thank you so much for joining me today guys if you're new to my channel please uh, spare a minute to uh, subscribe and hit that, not that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and as always please stay safe thank you so much to all my patrons guys uh thank you for your support i truly truly appreciate it if you are able do please consider becoming a patron that may continue to create uh these uh tutorials and insights but uh stay safe i'm always always praying for you guys never give up on your dream dare to dream big thank you and bye for now